Hey everybody, welcome back to more Dragon Age. So, uh, we're in the lighthouse. Gonna go talk to Harding, get things all set up here, and then uh, we'll probably head out after. So, if you guys uh, like the video, like what I do, drop that like. Hit that like button. Help me out. We are very small. Three meetings face to face under the sky. I don't know what that means. I think this gets unlocked over time. You know what I like is you can reuse your preset for another character. So I might just modify mine a bit for my rogue. Whoa. Rook, you're awake, and we're in the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little. We might be here a while. Skills? No way. So I wonder if the specializations are going to be similar to Inquisition where you have to earn them. Okay, so that's the one I want. Yeah, I want Evoker. So I'm probably going to go like quite a bit down Evoker and then a little bit into Death Caller. Spellblade I'm not really interested in. It's more for the Orb and Dagger. It's not really my jam. I heard a lot of people have fun with it though. So mind blast, hold, and then tap Y while defending consume. I don't want to consume mana while defending, but. Hold RT, sustaining your attack gradually increases the damage output. See that, that I like. Staff energy generates passively. Oh, okay. And what's this frost nova? Ooh, I like that. You know, it doesn't seem crazy in depth, but just enough to keep you interested and have a build to work around with. So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is, besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Well, I was out cold. He showed up in my dream, and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. He nearly brought down the veil, Nev. Can you do that? You know it's not that simple. He may not be a prayers and blessings kind of god, but he's a lot more than just a mage. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elgernon and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? 
No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Algernon and Gilanane drew on the Blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? As many as need to, I guess. If Elgernon and Gilanin are worse than Solus, we don't have time to waste. We need to act now. We don't know what they can do or what they want. We don't even know if Solus is telling the truth. I'm not saying we go in blind. But this time, if we see a shot, we take it. All right. The last place we saw them was the ritual site. The Alluvian took us here from the ritual site, instead of back to Minrathus. Then let's hope it takes us back. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. Downstairs we go. Ooh, treasure. Me and my scrappy robes. There's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? He looks pretty bruised and battered. Worry about me. Shall we? Did she get injured when the, like the pillar fell? Because that would make sense. Why doesn't my character have bruises? You know, because I got smoked. It's quiet. You know, it's like a. Fantasy Stargate. There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find any. Strife? Irlin? It's me, Lace Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We found Solus and stopped his ritual, but things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else got out. 
Elgernon and Gelanane, supposedly. Methalanast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. Ah, I was really hoping the Dreadwolf was lying to us about all this. He's the god of love. Not as snarky as I would have liked, right? Beings are sacrosanct, even to him. He might be a bastard, but he's a damn sight better than the Evanuris. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Evanuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll find Ballara. Let's, um... Get her to help the veil jumpers. Nev, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? I'm fine. You're the best detective in Minrathis. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. If trouble shows up, they could use your skills. Fair enough. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like, everything shifted a little bit. Okay, that's better. The FPS should uh, level out now. Is that suit of armor moving? I had to restart my, uh, my game. It just, uh, was getting like 25 FPS. It was really weird. Lara? Bellara Luter? Strife and Irulan sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me? I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. The worse, unfortunately. The elven gods Elgernon and Gilanin have escaped Fenharel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, right. I need a second. I've had a couple of days and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then... A couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. I think I'd prefer to stay in one piece, yeah. Right, me too. But I think I can find a way out. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. 
we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Truffles. Spirits, not demons. Treasure everywhere. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from... Yeah, so um, I had DLSS on, and it just, like, for some reason, made my stuff wor perform worse. But I'm also not on 4K. I'm only on 1440p, so I don't think it's necessary. I've had to shut it off on a few of my games. Oh, I guess we could have just, uh, went the other way. I don't really notice a huge performance increase for myself. Like I said, I'm only at 2K. And I, ne I never use ray tracing, so it's all good. I was thinking about maybe getting a AMD card next time, but... Just for the raw performance, you know, because I don't use DLSS very much. Probably next year. Next time I build a computer, at least. I think that 37 will get me around for a while, though. Oh, uh, what game was that where having DLSS on actually ruined my performance? That was, um... Oh god, it was some game that just came out, or update. I'll think of it while we're running around here, I guess. Is that water just swirling into the air? We call that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. Oh, it was Starfield. Yeah, Starfield's that for me. When I put DLSS on, it runs way worse. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Is that lootable? Oh, I'm getting tricked by fireflies again. Demons! Right where we need to go. Let's deal with them. RB to suck companion abilities. Oh, we have a healer. Replenish. Uh, adrenaline rush. Don't enhanced damage so that's a detonator don't have a primer just yet I guess I am the only uh, mage, really. Oh, the shortcuts. Okay. this artifact we're looking for exactly i have a couple of theories but nothing definite we might find some clues in the ruins though Ooh, treasure i don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been picked over not many people come this far into our that's land. better just fail jumpers mostly and people trying to save the world apparently wow i've never seen anything like this wait is this no it can't be not here can't be what we have to get over there the artifact we're looking for must be inside what was this place 
Could have been a temple, could have been... Are we just supposed to jump across? Oh! It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. What's an armory doing this? Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. And there we go! Easy! Huh, that's a great trick! A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the Ring Temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. Use B to dodge. Yeah, we kind of figured that out already. dodge that so I got two archers with me be nice to have a warrior I think That's the last of the magic energy Pat should be clear ahead I'm so, it gets me so backwards with the way the buttons work like um select on the left is this menu and then start is, is like the settings menu it's very weird Skills. All right, so we want to head toward what's that? Ice blast. Eventually, we're gonna go to Evoker. See one, there's more nearby. Is there anything up here? I wonder how they died. Even mages have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. <clears throat> Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory. We're miles away from where that artifact should be. So let's take this. 
Move it over here. What are the odds they all come back? It means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. It's normal. I think I know what the artifact is. That's a win, Rook. in here here just the sentinels so what kind of artifact shows up in an armory a weapon an archive spirit a what a creature of the fade bound to a crystal ancient elves use them to store knowledge and to help them dream Those are interesting looking dark spawn. They don't have any armor? It's like almost like mindless dark spawn, like in sort of like the human um, reapers in Mass Effect, kinda. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. Got your back. So let's do that. I'm on it. Never seen dark spawn this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solas claims, maybe they're communicating with the dark spawn somehow, directing them. You saw those dark spawn, though. 
Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Is that a ballista? Giant crossbow. More dark spawn, right where you broke that wall. I keep thinking they're gonna like climb over the the vines there. Dang, that's all of them. Another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Me too. the elven magic. Secret area? Well, not really secret, but... Stench of decay fills the air. Corruption and death. I guess eventually we figure out a use for that stuff, all those crystals. If that building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it. Nodis Dirthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? Let's line them up. Constructs ahead. Keep in sync. We're getting closer. 
Alright, those mages are kind of getting annoying. And by kind of, I mean a lot. Door's going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. Put this over here. Second power crystal. Oh, it's blight. Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. Is there any other walls that need breaking? Let's go put this one back. Okay, so Harding's heals over time, and Belarus is instant. Lara, or Harding, is a restoration druid. Left is the Nautis Dirthalin. I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. Ooh, new stuff. You'll see. Thalen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. Nothing's ever easy, is it? So what makes this tricky? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. Almost looks like an elven blight version of an ogre. The way his horns are, you know? Mm, 
fire. That's much better. Oh, I was too far away. All right, let's smack him at the same time. Oh, never mind. I love fire. I like to play fire mages in every game I play. Hmm. You guys are on cooldown. Ow. Hey, thanks for breaking that thing open for me. I just get ragdolled by this guy. Please, I'll do that and that. Ooh, ultimate. Well, wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Ooh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dethara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dethara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dethara. What do you. Oh, bye bye. Needs batteries. So that's the Nodister Thalen? It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken though, needs fixing. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife in Ireland will want to know about this, and the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Oh, that's cool. Fun little area. Boss chest. Alara Longbow. What's that back? wounded, 16 on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary.
Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nodis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nodis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. Archive's broken, won't tell us anything. But that doesn't matter. Any Dalish settlements we can save, we should. So far, we've been lucky and arrived just in time. But given how fast these dark spawn are moving, it's only a matter of time till our luck runs out. Well, it hasn't run out yet, so let's stretch it until it breaks. If we could predict where they'd strike next, we might get ahead of them. But so far, they've been unpredictable. Which leaves us with what? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four. I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there, and good luck. Will we really be at war with our own gods? Yes. Yes, you are. I like the hypnosis it gives you, because sometimes I forget what we just did. <laughs> My short-term memory is not great. I feel like this game was made for someone like me. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's it. So... I guess we'll go to Demetis Crossing next time. Thanks a lot, guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and sub and have a great day.